everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be outlining this character that I got inspired from, from Pinterest and then we're going to colour it using the Gonzai Tambi watercolours. Let's go. As you can see, I've already outlined the drawing using pencil and then I'll go over it using my black Sharpie permanent marker. I'm just going to do the second eye here. You can just about see that there's something on the top of her hat. <laughs> A little cat has crept up there. That's how it's looking so far. And now we're going to use an eraser to get rid of all the pencil lines. Okay, so everything's now been erased and we're ready to paint. So we're going to be using a Pentel Aquash water brush which is just a, a brush filled with water. You can see here, the water's filled up in the brush and this is, it's well used. But it's the brush head. And we're going to use, as I've said, the Gonzai Tombi. I'm going to do her hair, but you can see on camera first. I'm going to be using a yellow ochre and the bright yellow, a, con a mix of both. And I've got the 18 colour set of Gonzai Tombi watercolours. And the paper I'm using is 180 GSM drawing paper. It's in fact recycled drawing paper. It isn't artist grade as far as I'm aware. It's just from our local supermarket. But we're using acid-free watercolours so it doesn't particularly matter with the paper as long as it's thick enough to take the watercolour. It could even cope with light gouache or even slightly if you use acrylic as watercolour the paper will cope it might buckle a bit but it's not going to deteriorate Remember you can do layers, which I like to do. So you just do a pale layer, let it dry, and then you go back and do the next layer, and so on and so on. But just wetting her face a bit. And I'll go in with just a light kind of terracotta -y colour.
because we're not technically, Caucasians are not technically pink or, you know, yellow or, we're kind of a mix of all of those kind of colours, the brownie and pinkies and yellows, very pale. bit of pink round her cheeks and then some black for the eyebrows as I said this inspired me from Pinterest I was thinking what should I draw for you all and I went on Pinterest and searched for drawing inspiration and this image came up so I hand drew it, just using a regular graphite pencil. And then that was it, and outlined it, as you saw, with the pen. So it hasn't come out as bad as I thought it would. My hand drawing isn't perfect, but I much prefer hand drawing than tracing, because I find it's cheating if you trace things. It's just how I am. It's not cheating really, I mean it is a drawing aid, but for me it's cheating. The underneath of the hair is always darker, remember. I just like to clean my brush as well on the side of the paper and it will just add to a nice background when you're done. Then we will move on to her shoulders. Again, that's just using the same kind of skin tone. We wet the area first and then do just a pale kind of terracotta -y, as I call it. You'll see when you get your Gansai Tambi 18 colour set, you'll see what I mean when I say terracotta. It's like a, just a light brown. It's the only brown in the set. You really don't need much of the uh, watercolours with the Gonsai Tombi. They're incredibly pigmented and go a very long way. Now, we will do her top. I think I will do that. One of my favourite colours is this kind of raspberry pink that they have in the 18 colour set. They probably call it a magenta, but for me it looks like raspberry. Or a berry burst colour. What would you call the colour? Berry burst or raspberry? You can tell me in the comments below.
And we will do her pendant. And I think I'm going to do her a nice blue. Oh, one half of it blue anyway. And possibly a different red to contrast with her top. give her blue eyes to match her half of her necklace. I think this is the ultramarine. You get about four blues in the 18 colour set. Yep, that looks good. And now we've got to do a hat. Camera crash. I'm doing it different today, the camera, so that it's more involved. There we are. You can see that. So now, I've got to decide on a colour for the hat. And I'm thinking. I don't know why, but I want to do it green. I suppose because the green goes really very well with pinks and reds. Or definitely with red. And now, with a cute little kitty on the hat. So, what colour? Because it's an illustration, you can stay away from real if you want. But I'm still going to try and go for near as authentic as I can. So I'll do bits of the terracotta brown. And 
the yellow ochre, I think. So this is what it looks like when it's completed. See the little kitty on her hat? And she's looking up at it, not bemused. It's tagged along for her walk. I'm going to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.